and welcome to the Penn Energy Petroleum News Update. I'm Stacy Schmidt. Oil prices have fallen substantially based on a strengthening dollar and market fears that the economy is still struggling to recover. The price of oil has fallen to $90 a barrel on the NYMEX, but a massive price differential has occurred with Brent crude in London trading at $115 a barrel. Transocean released its independent internal investigation into the Deepwater Horizon accident that claimed the lives of 11 workers. While the company confirmed that the Macondo incident was the result of a succession of interrelated well design, construction, and abandonment decisions, Transocean's report pointedly blamed BP for the accident. BP is aggressively seeking money from Transocean and other companies involved in the well to put towards the $20 billion oil spill trust fund. Offshore Mexico, state-run Pemex is launching a $1.2 billion international tender to lease eight jack-up rigs for drilling and development in the Gulf of Mexico's Bay of Campeche. Pemex plans to use the offshore rigs to drill, complete, maintain, repair, and collect data from the subsea wells on the aging Kumalub Zab and Contarel oil fields. Additionally, the company is looking to hire five onshore rigs to work in southern Mexico in a contract worth $200 million. Reliance Industries has made a natural gas discovery at Drupai 54 on the D9 block of the Krishna Gadavari Basin offshore the east coast of India in the Bay of Bengal. The ultra deep water discovery was drilled by Transocean's Deep Rupai deep water drill ship, transecting three sand reservoirs measuring 22 meters thick. The reservoir is expected to cover the vast majority of the 2.1 million acre D9 block. In Canada, South African oil producer Sassel and Talisman Energy have awarded Foster Wheeler the contract to conduct a feasibility study on a gas to liquids facility in Western Canada. The proposed GTL facility would convert natural gas production from the company's Montney Shale acreage for transport to markets in Asia Pacific. In a similar project, the proposed Kitimat LNG facility would liquefy natural gas from the Horn River Basin and Montney Shale and transport the LNG to international markets. Multiple projects are also initiated along the U.S. Gulf Coast in an effort to connect booming natural gas production from various shale plays with higher paying markets worldwide. In other shale news, Supermajor Shell has teamed with CNPC to create a 50-50 well manufacturing joint venture to focus on shale and coal bed methane drilling and development in China and abroad. The well manufacturing system will be used to increase automation and efficiencies in unconventional tight gas, shale gas, and coal bed methane developments. China is considered by many as an emerging shale gas province, coupled with the burgeoning demand of a massive population in the middle of industrialization, many international companies are looking to leverage unconventional experience to enter exploration and production developments in the country. Thanks for joining us this week for the Penn Energy Petroleum News Update. For these stories and more, go to PennEnergy.com. For Penn Energy, I'm Stacy Schmidt.